Okay, hi everybody. Welcome to the second day of our storytelling uh, of the story of the Billy Goats Gruff. Uh, well done for all the work you did yesterday. It was really lovely to see all the work and all the story maps that you've created. Today we're going to be using those story maps to retell the story before we have a focus on the character. So let me share my screen with you. Okay, so the learning objective for today is uh, to describe a character. So we're going to be retelling the story to begin with, and then I'm going to be thinking about one of the characters and we're going to be having a go at drawing it and then describing them. So I've got my story map in front of me, as you can see on the screen. I'm going to use it to help me retell the story to you. Once upon a time, there were three little billy goats, and they were in a field at the bottom of a big hill. But the field had got really dry because they'd eaten all the yummy grass in it. And as a result, they wanted to move to some new pasture at the top of the hill, which was really green and lush and would be delicious with lots of grass for them to eat. But there was one problem. The only way to get to the top of this hill was to go over a rickety bridge. And underneath the bridge there lived a big, green, terrible troll who had big ears, pointy teeth, and wore big boots on his feet. And he was always hungry. This was a big problem for the three Billy Goats Gruff. So, first, the smallest Billy Goat, the little, the smallest Billy Goat, the little Billy Goats Gruff, crept up to the bridge and so quietly he tried to tiptoe across it. But then, creak, tap, 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 tap. Who's that tapping on my bridge? said the terrible troll. Just me. To the little billy goats gruff, I will eat you for my breakfast, lunch and tea. Oh no, please don't eat me. I'm the littlest billy goats gruff and I won't leave you full at all. You'll still be hungry. If you wait, there's a bigger billy goats gruff coming behind me. You should eat him and let me go. Hmm, thought the troll to himself. Okay, you shall pass. Thought the little billy goat as he tip 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 tap 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 tapped over the bridge and went up into the pasture to the delicious green grass. Yum yum. Before very long, the medium billy goat's gruff got up to the bridge. He also tried to creep across it, but then tap 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 tap. Who's that tapping on my bridge? said the terrifying troll. Just me, said the medium sized billy goat's gruff. I will eat you for my breakfast, lunch and tea. Oh no, please don't eat me, said the medium billy goat's gruff. I'm only the medium billy goat's gruff. If you wait, the big billy goat is just coming and he will be a much more delicious meal for you and you will be full. If you eat me, you'll still be hungry. Hmm, thought the troll to himself. Okay, you may pass. You thought the medium billy goat's gruff as he went tap, 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 over the bridge and up into the delicious pasture and ate the green grass. Yum, yum. Finally, the big billy goat's gruff arrived at the bridge. He tried so quietly to move to across it until tap, 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 tap. Who goes there? said the big troll. Just me, said the big billy goat's gruff. I will eat you for my breakfast, lunch and tea. But the big Billy Goat's gruff was not scared. He looked at the troll and he bent down his head with his sharp horns and he charged at the troll with a massive crash. The troll went flying up into the air and landed with the water, in the water with a big, join in with me, with a big splash. And the troll never seen again. And the big billy goat continued over the bridge and up into the pasture the delicious green grass. And from that day forward the big billy goat, the troll was never seen again. And the small billy goat scruff and the medium billy goat scruff and the big billy goat scruff could go back and forth across the bridge without ever worrying about the troll catching them or his dinner. I hope you enjoyed hearing the story again. Now you need to pause the video 
and have a go at using your story map to tell the story to your adult or to another person in your home. Okay, I hope your story went really well and you remember to use lots of expression. We're now going to focus on some key questions for the rest of our session today. The first question, because our learning objective is to describe a character, is what is a character? Can you remember? Did you get it right? A character is a person in a story. It might be a thing, it might be a child, it could be an animal, but it's someone in a story that helps the action to happen. There are four characters in our story. Who are the four characters in our story? Can you list them on your fingers? I wonder if you got it right. Of course, there's the little Billy Goat's Gruff, the medium Billy Goat's Gruff, the big Billy Goat's Gruff, and then, as we can see on our screen, the nasty troll. Today, you're going to have a go at drawing the character of the troll. I'm going to show you how to do it first. So, I have got my whiteboard here. And I am going to have a little think before I start drawing about what my troll is going to look like. First of all, I'm going to make sure you're going to do it in your book. I'm doing it on my whiteboard that the troll has a really big face and he's going to have long ears. My troll's also going to have really sharp. Big eyes. He's also going to have a big nose. My body of my troll is very fat because he eats all those animals. So he's going to have a very big tummy. Can you see I've given him a big tummy? And he's going to have arms and claws on the end. Remember, this is my troll. You are going to be doing your own troll. And then at the bottom, he's going to wear big Wellington boots because he's going to be going splash, splash, splash in the stream. I've drawn my troll. Now, my troll is going to be green. You can colour yours in as well. So I'm going to colour my troll in green. You're not going to watch me colour because that will be very boring. Pause the video now and draw your troll as the first task. Great, welcome back. Now that you've done that, we're going to have a go for task two of labelling our troll. We're going to be using an adjective and a noun. Remember, a noun is a person, place or thing, and an adjective describes our noun. Hmm. First, I'm going to label his long ears. So, first thing I need to do is Fred talk the word long. L or mm, long. U o n long. U o n long. Long ears. Now I'm going to use ears with an S on the end. Ear. Long ears. Now, next one I'm going to do is green skin. Fred, talk the word green first. G r e n. Do it with me. G r e n. Green. And then do the word skin. Sk -i -n, skin. Sk -i -n. So sk -i -n, green skin. Mm, what shall I do next? <gasps> Maybe his sharp claws. I'm going to I'm running a little bit shorter space. Sharp claws. Sh sharp. Sharp. Sh Ah, uh, sharp, cool, or claws. If you need some help with your sounds, there is a sound mat attached in your Google Classroom. Go and check it if you need to. Cool, or sharp claws. I'm going to challenge myself to do one more. I've got long ears, sharp claws, green skin. Oh, I know. I'm going to use an expanded noun phrase. I'm going to write. Big black boots. 
So big, black, b, o, a, boots, b, oot, boots, b, oot, boots. You can see there that I've thread talked sharp claws, long ears, green skin, and big black boots. I've written it the right way around, but it just looks different on the screen. Pause the video now and have a go at labeling your character with four labels, or if you want to challenge yourself, you could even try five. So that is the end of today's learning for literacy. I really hope you enjoyed the story. Remember to take a photo of the page of your book from today and to upload it onto Google Classroom by 2.30 so that we can all see the amazing work that you're doing. Don't forget for the rest of the day, you've got some maths videos to watch and also an exercise video. We love seeing the photos of you with your sweaty selfies having worked out in your own home. Finally, challenge yourselves to do one of our project items this afternoon. I wonder what I'll choose. See you all later and have a great day.